Hello, welcome to episode 75 of the Data Pack tutorial series for version 1.21. We're going to be doing phasing through blocks. Uh, there was a command blocks only version of this. I think that's episode 296 in the command block series. But basically, we're going to have a, a block tag list of blocks we can phase through. So I can't phase through this. No, but I can phase through tinted glass and white stained glass at the moment. Okay, this is actually useful, I think, because you could have maybe you've got some villagers you don't want to escape and you could have them behind this you can go in but they can't come out or maybe it's access to a mob farm you don't want the mobs coming out but you want to be able to go in um yeah i thought this was quite a handy one actually and it's a bit of fun but obviously you can put any block in the list we could add so we could face through gray wool and then you could have secret rooms anyway i think you've got the idea i'm just waffling let's get on and build it now Okay, we'll start in VS Code. We'll add some folders and files. There's not going to be much. This is quite a simple one. But we're going to have a predicate to check if the player is sneaking. So inside my namespace, new folder, predicate, inside there, new file. We'll call it is sneaking because that makes sense. Um, it's not happy because there's nothing in there. We'll fix that later. We'll have a block tag list of blocks we can phase through. So inside my namespace again, new folder tags inside tags new folder block inside block new file uh, we'll call it can phase dot json okay that's it because we're just going to use the tick function so let's do let's do the block tag list first because it's we can do it right here open curlies press enter we'll have some values that'll be a list and in there a list of blocks we can phase through so minecraft what did we have? We had tinted glass. Yep, that'll do. And we had white stained glass. Minecraft white. It's all the way down there. There it is, stained glass. And we can add anything else. Let's add the gray wool as well, so we can face through the gray wool as well. Actually, let's do a different color wool. Let's do let's do light gray wool or something like that. Minecraft light gray. Is there a light gray wool? There it is. Okay. That'll do. You can add whatever you like to that. Let's get rid of that. Is sneaking. We could write it ourselves. Let's go over to Missode though, because it's quicker. So off to Missode. Here we are in Missode's predicate generator. We will do a condition, entity properties. Entity is this. Predicate, we will check. The flags is sneaking true, and we're done. Let's copy that. Take it back. Paste it into is sneaking, and save that. Cool. Now we know if the player is sneaking. And then we'll go to tick function. This could well be the quickest tutorial for data pack we've done yet. So we're going to execute as all players, if predicate, that player is sneaking, at that player, if lock a little bit, whoop, a little bit up, a little bit in front, is in our block list so let's do hash start typing our namespace id can phase yeah so that's going to check the block in front of us uh, i think i want to check the block above it as well so we'll just do if block and we'll say 1.5 up but still a little bit in front of us is on or in our phase list we will run TP that player. We will attempt to spell run TP properly. We'll TP them. Well, we'll just TP them just up a tiny little bit, just a tiny little bit. And we'll TP them forwards, just a tiny little bit. Done. We'll save that. And we'll go and test it. Okay, so the only difference we should notice is that we should now be able to face through light gray wool as well. So let's go back. Well, that's not back, is it? There we are. Okay, so let's uh, let's try these ones. Oh, we haven't done a reload. Should reload the pack. So I can go through there. Let's get some light gray wool. Wool, light gray. Let's put that in there. There we go. We might take suff suffocation damage. Well, that's one of the one of the dangers of facing through blocks. Oh, we're just stuck inside it. Okay, so here we have the problem. If you're going to be adding solid blocks, it's not going to work. 
because you're going to get stuck inside them. We want to be using these transparent blocks. So we can do any glass. That shouldn't be a problem. You go through here, no suffocation damage. So the reason why we've added this one is just to demonstrate that if you're going to try and go through a solid block, you are going to be stuck inside it because you cannot pass through. That is a word of warning for you. Okay, so let's go back to the data pack. Now let's change light gray wool. Let's change it to something else. Let's do an experiment with something else. Let's try... We could probably go through doors. Let's try an iron door. Why not? An iron door. Let's see what happens if we do that. Okay. Obviously, we're just playing around testing now. We're not actually uh, adding really any more commands, so you can stop watching if you want. But let's do iron door. Let's see if we can get through this thing. So someone's locked their door. I think we should be able to get through this. Uh, let's go to survival, because better check. Oh, we didn't do a reload, did we? Reload. There we go. Yeah, we can get through the iron door, all right? That's no problem. Oh, that's interesting, though. We can't get back the other way because we're so close that our check is looking through it to the block on the other side. Oh, so we can only go one way through iron doors. It's always fun to test things to see what else uh, happens. Um, so that's interesting. Could we fix that? That'd be in our tick function. Well, we're checking half a block in front. So I suppose we would have to, I suppose, I suppose we would have to check a little bit less in front. So let's let's try moving that down a bit. Let's say 0. Point, how, how thick do we think an iron door is? Let's try 0. Point 0.1. Oh no, that's the height. You don't want to change that one. In front. Let's change the in front. 0. Point 0.1 and 0. Point 0.1. Save. Let's do a reload. Okay, first let's test we can still go through these. Oh, look, now we can't. It's not checking close enough. Okay, let's go back. Let's play around. Let's try 0 0.15. Let's do a save. Let's go back and do a reload. Is that enough? Can I see this block? No. So maybe 0 0.2. Let's save. Let's go back. If you're still watching, well done. 0.2 is no. Have we just broken it completely now? I would have thought 0.2 in front of the player would have been enough. Let's try 0.3. Well, let's go up a bigger amount. Save. Or reload. 0.3 is enough, but is it's too far still for the iron door? Okay, so iron doors. You got yourself a one-way system with iron door. I think what we'll do is we'll set that back to 0.5. So solid blocks, can't go through. You get stuck inside them. Glass blocks, fine. No problem at all, you can go through that. Iron door, on the other hand, makes this cool one-way system, which I kind of like, actually. For an, for an adventure map, you could have a puzzle. So you can sneak through the door. Okay, let's go this way. But there's no way they're getting back. I mean, literally, you could just have a button and they could go through anyway. So it's, it's not really that special, is it? But I kind of like it. Ooh, oh, I think I, I sort of went into the into the wool a bit then. Ooh, you want to be accurate when you go through. Okay, should we test one more block just for fun? Why not? I'm having fun. <laughs> I don't know if you are. You're probably not still here. You probably think it's just silly now. Let's try something. Um, mm, a stair block is interesting. Okay, well, andesite stairs is there. So let's try stairs. Let's see what stairs do. Let's do a reload. Let's get back to creative. Bye bye, Iron Door. You're an interesting test. Let's test stairs, andesite stairs specifically. That's diorite. Andesite stairs. Okay. All ah, right. If we're in creative, we can definitely go through. What about survival? Aha. So, if we wanted to do solid blocks, we could use stairs. So it would give us the impression, there we go. So if we had an andesite wall, we just have those two as stairs, and then we've got our secret door that we can go through. 
Okay, so stairs work. Oh, no, enough experimenting. You can experiment with anything you like. I just thought I'd have some fun at the end there. A little test to see what we could come up with. Anyway, I'll leave it there. An episode that should have taken approximately three minutes has now taken nearly ten minutes. Sorry about that. Anyway, you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.